it was such a relief as well as the performance because the performance weren't as up to scratch as what we'd like against Norwich. Yeah, the results are all that count at the moment and, and to get a result like that, if you if you was mid-table you'd be saying look the lads are really fighting it out and, and putting in the, the wins and the great character but to do it when you're down in the place where you are on one of the biggest games of the season for us because Norwich were just above us so to cut the deficit and, and really kick on from here it was it was incredible. In that game a lot was made of your safe and Ricky Babbles mm -hmm. and he must be sick of the side of you by now because I remember you made a lot of save in the cup against the Carabao. He said straight after um, he gave me a little push he said I can't believe it that's 20 hours I'm going now. <laughs> I think he's 20 hours and I, I really feel for him because it, He's a good player and they've spent a lot of money and he just can't get a break his way, but I'm really glad it didn't happen against us. Where do you rank that save amongst your best career saves? That could be up there, yeah. I think the one of the top two against Norwich. And in terms of importance as well, of course. Yeah, I think, I think that's what made it the save it was. Um, look, you do it every, if you do it every day in training, nobody says anything, but because it was in the importance of a game like that and to get a save straight after at the corner, it was nice to keep him out and, and so we could push on as a team and then we scored so it was a great day all round really. Steve said you commented on Twitter after the game that maybe you might have to put some holiday plans on hold. I mean, do you entertain the idea of an England recall or is it just focus solely on Fulham? Um, it's in the back of your mind but I'm, I'm concentrating on Fulham now and it's nice that the lads are saying that but if I can keep that up till the end of the season and, and we stay up and then maybe think about it then. At Villa, we had the best part of 3,000 travelling fans. We sold out Stoke on uh, Monday. Give me another best part of 3,000 there. Just how much of a boost did that give you when you see it? It's massive. I, I, I commented on, on Twitter that it was like the, the 12th man. You know, they carried us through. We got the goal, and, and even five minutes after that, they tried to push on. and the fans really, really, really stuck with us and, and believed in us. They send that belief out and to roar us home to victory. They, they fully deserved that, the fans. Hopefully we'll have a similar support to Spurs. Sorry. Yeah, well, we, we understand the fact that we're going to take a lot now. We need it. We need everything we can from fans to the staff. Even the staff around the training ground are positive and lively. and We've got things wrote on the walls from fans that have sent in and and letters that they send in, we stick up on the wall and say, look, this is what it means to Fulham Football Club. You've been here for a fair few years, mm -hmm. and I've not long with seven players. Where did that atmosphere against Norwich compare you in the years ago? I think that was second best to Hamburg semi-final here. That was rocking. But they really did that far. Uh, Aston Villa was probably one of the best away supporters that I've seen from a set of Fulham. Um, mind you, I went at Portsmouth. 2008, so I don't know, but yeah, it's it's been brilliant this year. The the way they've reacted, and it's nice for us lads to to react to the way they've done it and go on and win two, and, and hopefully we can go to Spurs and get something there. Obviously, that's a difficult game, but mm. the way we're playing, we're going to win confidence. Yeah, you, you can't not when you've won two games in a row. Always a difficult place, but it's always a place where where upsets can happen, and, and football's football. If we play well. We might get something out of it, we might not, but we played badly on Saturday and won, so let's see what we can do. What would it mean to you and where would it rank your career highlights like to keep for the I think I think that would be number one because for me, yes I played for Hull when they got promoted but I was on loan. Not saying it wasn't brilliant, but I was on loan. This this is my club, the club have given me the chance. They give me a chance now to repay a debt that they've given to me and uh, hopefully I can pull it off and Really? Yeah. Cheers. No worries.